Greetings, greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Temple of Know Thyself. I and I reasoning. Today is the eighth of the ninth, twenty twenty four, and we're back again. So give thanks, give thanks to see you in another week. And this is the first week into September. So officially now, I can say I've been doing uh, this podcast, this YouTube now for one year. So may the journey continue and we're thankful and grateful that we have the opportunity to manifest and we have the ability and the confidence to start this journey and being able to accomplish one year. So as Buddha says, the journey begins with the first step. We have ideas, some of us uh, manifest it and some of us take it to the graveyard. So the poem goes, the man who thinks he can't and the man that thinks he can are both right. So you gotta make a choice on what you want in life. That's what it comes down to. So some of us will do and some won't do so I want to be in the lane that I'm doing something so whatever it is that you want to do just go ahead and do it that's all I say I am because we are because we are therefore I am so yeah welcome to I and I reasoning temple of know thyself yes my people today the weather is here. over here in London it's a bit you know funny it's been rain it rained last night actually um, this has been a quick summer, man. It's been hot, cold, hot, rainy, cold, you know what I mean? On and off. But now it's, um, yeah, we're preparing soon for winter. So the weather is changing. So, yeah, it's starting to get a little bit chilly. So the rainy season is starting to come in, kicking in. But, yeah, as I said, the farmer man likes the rain in it. <laughs> he needs the rain for his plants, so... That's how life goes, in it? You gotta enjoy being in the moment. As I say, we see it, the moment as a present. That's what it's about, living in the present. So, your boy, what has he been up to? It's just this, this show is just a reflection and we talk about communication because that's what I said, the 10 weeks, what I'm on, this little journey and self-esteem. I've merged those two together and then I, through my journey, I go about improving myself and it's about self-development and those are the two key things that I focus on for the for the 10 weeks that I've set myself. Can you believe we're five weeks already into this program? Five weeks have gone. So I've got, I'm happy by the way, <laughs> I'm happy. Like, that's what I say, start something, they say, officially, it's been one year since I've been, my son's downstairs, by the way, he's here with his friend, he's, um, I'm going to touch on him in a minute, yeah, but he's downstairs, like, one year is gone, just like that, so five weeks is gone, remember, I've only got five more weeks, and I'm excited, you know what I mean, I really want to finish this, this particular uh, training, and this, challenge I've given myself so five weeks remaining so if you've been with me for these five weeks you know congratulations to you man that's what I'm saying just go ahead and start something and then just enjoy the journey the ups and down so some of the things that um when I'm talking about communication and self-esteem these are the things that I've been putting into practice outside of the podcast that's why it I and I reasoning and temple of know thyself is just a reflection of what I've learned and taken the theory and put into practice. So the self-esteem goes now to the gym. I use the gym a lot. I've been very consistent with the gym. Monday to Friday, I broke my fast a couple of hours ago. So I do my fasting. I do intermittent fasting till about 1.30. Yeah. 
so do roughly about 16 hours of uh, intermittent fasting it's the same my friends say don't i get bored of the food it's the same food i eat i'm a pescatarian so i have a bit of fish now and then but mainly it's vegetables some sometime in the week i, I won't even eat no cooked food but it will just be uh salad lots of salad and uh, oats and water i don't use milk i just and fruits so that will be my food sometime some bread not always if, if i last week i ate bread then i won't eat bread for like maybe two weeks uh and that's it yeah so sometime I, like today i had uh, lentils and rice so some days i said i won't even eat no cooked food but the journey has been good man so it's broccoli oh every day apart from saturday and sunday <laughs> spinach carrots cantaloupe uh apples it's the same food and then i might sometimes have a protein shake not always it just depends or i make my own version of protein shake so it's the same food so i just constantly keep an eye on what i'm eating and I, I notice my mood swing how i sleep on the weekend everything's off complete even the drinking of the water i'm not it's that consistent but i allow it it's just to be just you know what i mean just be myself and have fun so um a gym has been a crucial part of this particular style and training and how it's got me to where i am so i call it my wife so last week so i'm back on the rowing now i i have my moments that i'm focused on it and then I have some moments where I just chill, I just still train. So the, the previous week, um, I did, for this 5,000 in rowing, I did 20 minutes and 41 seconds. And this week that just went, I beat myself. It's only by two seconds, it's 20 minutes and 39 seconds. And that's five 5K rowing. So I'm proud of that. And again, it's just, this is to do with self-esteem, self-confidence, you know what I mean? I saw, I had a vision and I'm like, you know what, let me go off it. My personal goal, I'm saying to you, I'm making you aware, is that um, I want to get down to 20 minutes. Um, if I can do it by February, it'll be, it'll be um, a bonus. If not, I'll just take my time. And that's why I said, I go through my moments where I'm just, because I've already hit my goal. Now I'm just eating into that. Let's call it uh, 39 seconds now. I'm just eating into it when i feel like it, i push myself and then some days i just ah, just take it easy so it's to eat away that 39 second and it's hard this thing is not easy you know to even to do 20 minutes i know it's hard i see, I see people i when i study on the internet and the pace you have to keep because after that you, you're you're talking about some serious like It'll be like a sports competition after because i think the world record is like 14 minutes and something so when you start getting into those 20 minutes or under 20 minutes it's it's literally competition so just bear that in mind that's how hard i'm working <laughs> and i remember i'm doing it for fun this is all fun so yeah i'm proud of myself it's the consistency as i said we're five weeks in we have five weeks to go and then we'll finish and then I'll, I'll have like a couple of days off um let me touch on my son so he's here now um my mom's got loads of stuff in her shed man so i just said tim just come um and just see what you can get because he's off to university so you know mum's house is <laughs> it's like a treasure you here in it <laughs> come on come and get what you want you know what i mean so he's here he's here with his friend I spoke to him i gave him a budget i told him write up your budget he, he doesn't listen to me properly but anyway <laughs> that's that's how it is but that's his budget he's, he's he's finished his budget today so i said that's your problem um there are some things that you don't need to buy and utilize what we have around us because after three years at university you're going to throw away half of these stuff you're not going to bring it back so I've convinced him to come to my mom's house. He's got brand new pots, wires. That's what I'm saying to you. you know, extensions. Come and get them because you're going to go and pay 20, 30 pounds 
when you can just get these stuff here for free that my mom has that she's not even using it and they're brand new it's not like they're second hand <laughs> they're brand new you know my mom has everything so he's got some stuff there now that he's gonna take back and he's he's gonna go at the end of the week next week to start so um i spoke to him i remind him again i'm gonna speak to him again that you're there to study you're not there to you know chase women stay focused in fact i'm gonna try and give him a box of condom <laughs> prevention is better than cure um but yeah i want him to re remember why he's there because he's paying for it not me he's taking out a loan so i keep regurgitating the same information again you're there to study understand what you're there for be careful how you walk be careful the people you speak to you know what i'm saying just stay within a certain area the money you have use it wisely don't be just getting uber or ordering food just here and there buy food and cook you know what i mean because you're on a budget you this is your responsibility now you can't just call mum and dad and expect us to give you money that's why i gave he had a budget i said look i have a bit of savings for you use the saving but you can't first you want to go and buy everything and i said to him you're an idiot you're wasting your money you realize that things cost money in it so you so you quickly learn that yo what's the point of me buying brand new things when i can get you some of these old things so that's what i'm saying teaching you because you, you realize your money's done so i keep reminding him this is his first step however because we've been through that process we'll imparting our wisdom on him so he can make informed choices better for himself so yeah that's it um me now i'm, I'm setting personal goals that's what i said about the rowing and stuff like that so when i went back because this this is the book the book is coming to an end now i have a notepad book i i write in so when I look back, I remember I wrote it down here. Um, yeah. I was talking about like um, 86 kg um, was my weight group. But I did my personal goal was to get down to uh, 80 kgs. Yeah. And that's why I wrote September last year. That was the 1st of September. And today is the 8th of September. So I've hit that goal. But I fluctuated so many times. And I haven't taken it serious. But the reason I'm saying that is this just shows you the power of words and writing things down. How you can manifest things. That's what I say it's important to. I would say to people like journal. You understand? If you have if you have ideas, just put it down. Because that's right. I put 12.5 stones equals to 80 kgs this is my ideal goal let's see where we can um we can meet that's why i wrote down and that was the first and i was trying to remember to put the date the first of um september 2023 yeah and then i had this um on the 20th of september 2023 i, I wrote this down this is this is an idea that i'm working on it's called motivation wednesday which was i ran it's finished now because of youtube you see again it's those are the two ideas i put down so now my weight now it, i'm actually 80 kgs you know what i'm saying so i'm 12 stones uh eight pounds and i fluctuate because it depends on when you wear yourself morning noon and after you know what i mean if you drink too much water but basically 12 stones 12 10 12 9 12 8 they all come up at um 80 kgs so i'm just showing you how powerful words are and writing down things is so important so i've hit that goal and i've got five weeks left to finish this particular program that i'm on and ideally i would like to because now my body's like i'm slim i'm skinny man <laughs> i look at myself all the weight from my legs have gone the fat is toned but i'm maga <laughs> even you know, I was telling my friend today, like, literally, 
my waist has just disappeared. <laughs> Gone. So I have to be careful now, man. So ideally, I said to myself, listen, the lowest I can go down to, I, I think I wrote it down. The lowest I can go down to is um, 76 kgs, which is actually exactly 12 stones. I don't want to go lower than that. Yeah. So ideally, I would like to hit the 12 stones between now and February. Yeah, that's 76 kgs which is 12 stones. And then from there, because hopefully I will get down to about 70, I'm 21 or 22%. Let me double check what it says. Cause I have this app that tracks my food and you know, I weigh myself and stuff like that. So my body fat right now is about 21.6, yeah. So ideally, I would like to get down to 17 and I'll be happy with that. Um, my BMI is recommended to be at 25, it's 26.1, yeah? So if I hit those targets um, within the next five months, even the next five weeks, if I can lose that three pounds, I will hit those goals, at least I will hit my BMI. Yeah, the body fat, I might just be on the, just over it. Yeah, so body fat is 21.6. And I want to get down to 17. So I have to lose like four, so about maybe five, four pound-ish, which is, again, which is, which is realistic, but it, it becomes hard because the body now is like, okay, you're gonna be have to restrict your how you eat properly, yeah? Because I'm, I'm quite slim already. It's just a little bit of fat. I say, I'm not off it that much from the 17, I'm at 21. Yeah, 21.6. So it's about just about maybe, I'm, I'm just guessing about just on the four, four or five pounds, yeah? So that's what I wrote down, the goal. I, I wrote down my goal that um, within five months, ideally I would like to get to 76. So I'm setting myself that personal goal. And once I hit the 76 or anything close there, as long as I get down my body to 70%, 17% body fat, what I will do, I will just now build back up my body with, but with more muscle. So I don't want to stay because it's a lifestyle, isn't it? You have to be able to maintain this. So the healthy eating I'm into anyway, but it just means I'm just restricting my calories. So what I, what I will do once I hit that goal is bring back up my eating calories. So that's my goal that I'm aiming for. Because the challenge now is coming to an end. Five weeks is just, five weeks is just a month and a week. You know what I mean? And then bam, we're, we're racing down to February. So every week I'm challenging myself again. This relates back to self-esteem and I'm communicating through writing and through audio, sharing my thoughts with the audience. So you can go about setting your personal goals for the things that you want to achieve in life, yeah? So that's it. Also, one of the things what I've been doing, I've been actually starting to go out a bit more, you know what I mean? Like selective where I go, not to say I don't go out, but yeah, I, I, I'm more focused. I'm more goal oriented focus. However, because I'm hitting a lot of my goals, now I'm able to free up a little bit. And I went out to a, um, my friend's birthday party and they're like, right, you're out late. Because normally I'm in bed by 10 o'clock because of my training habits in it. <laughs> so um, I was out late the other day and I was just completely smashed. <laughs> Friday night I was out. Saturday night I slept the whole day. <laughs> Because I was like, right, I'm not used to being like this. I'm so conditioned. It's a good thing and it's not a good thing. It depends on your goals, you know, I'm saying to you what you want. But again, it's about going out and practicing that communication skills. That's what we're talking about for this 10 weeks and self-esteem. You know, what I'm saying to you, interacting with people and giving myself new challenges. So that's why I've been doing it. And um, yeah, it feels good, man. That's it. So that's my challenge. I want to go and 
my personal sharing is also I'm sharing with the audience. Like, I want to go theatre, um, some comedy shows. You know what I'm saying to you? Whether, whether it be by myself or with other people. Just want to go out. So what, uh, the next personal goal that I have, which I've set at the end of the five weeks, is to go and visit my son at his university. So I've taken a couple of days off. And um, I'm waiting for him to go, man. I said to him, you have to go. Go to university first and then... I can book the hotel and then I'll be down there. So I'm looking at opportunities so where I can go out, which allows me to interact, build my self-esteem by meeting new people, new places and using my communication skills. That's what it was about. So now we're taking the theory that I'm talking about and putting it to practical situations. Yeah. So that's it. That's what it's about. It's about taking the idea and putting it into practice so for me um, it's been a chilled out week man because I'm halfway through and I'm just reflecting on what I've achieved on how far I've come and the advantage of um, recording the stuff on YouTube like these little clips that I do of me training I can actually see my progress because on the scale, as I said, it, so for some weeks I'm just stagnated. The weight doesn't change. It might fluctuate here and there. You know what I'm saying to you? So I, I, I try my best not to always... I, I weigh myself every morning. But sometimes for two, three days, the weight stays the same. So they say that you should take pictures and look at your clothes, how they fit. And I can see that as I literally have ordered new, even for my work today, I've ordered new clothes um, for my work. Yeah, just went on the app, ordered new trousers, tops and stuff like that because I'm physically losing the fat of my body. So that's why having these YouTube clips that I do, I can see the progress and, and I'm like, yeah, man, again, it's to do with self-esteem. And I can see, I'm like, yes, continue. And as I said, it's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying to you? Like, some people say, yeah, why can't you stop? Nah, man, I can't. I've got into the habit. And that's the right word, is habit. It's to do with communication. It's about habit. You make it into a habit, like brushing your teeth and it becomes normal. Yeah, do I get tired in the morning getting up? Yes. I think that's the challenging bit for me. And then after that, once I get into the routine, um, it's nice and then halfway through the routine I'm knacking them <laughs> however when I come home oh man the endorsing that, that drug that feeling that you get it's like yes I, I, I said it and I've done it so that's what I said like I really look I just want to finish this five weeks because I said my, my way of celebration is actually going to see my son because I'll be like for three four days I won't be going gym so I'll be like, yeah, I'm just going to go, relax, be myself, see a new environment and just say, you know what? I work for this and that's what it's all about life. It's about working for your goals and your dreams and ambitions. And that's what today's show is about. I'm just reflecting. It doesn't always have to be very deep and intense. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes I come with my, my big notes and no, 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 no. I just take it easy. And just, yeah, because we're, ha we're halfway through. We're halfway through. Remember, it's a 10 weeks. And that's what I, I feel proud. And it helps, it helps build my, this is how we're building our self-confidence, our self-esteem, our self-worth, is being committed to something that we said we're going to do. And we do it. And because I'm halfway, I'm like, yes, I'm very proud of myself. And then we're setting more goals. As I said, you hear me, I'm setting it. By the end of February, ideally, I would like to get to 76. Yeah, within that five months, which is realistic. It can be done. It can be done. It's just the pounds I'm knocking off because I'm 12 stones. All I want to do is knock off the that eight to 10 pounds because I fluctuate from 10 pounds to eight because of my fasting. So if I can knock off that 10 pounds, in five months which is realistic again yeah very realistic then 
I'll be overwhelmed. I'll be like, yes. And that's what these little wins are about. It's when you do these little wins, it builds neurons in your brain to say that you can do things. And so the biggest challenge, you just break them out into small pieces. And that's what I did. Because at the end of February, you haven't, but you will realize that I've done nine months. This is actually a nine months course that I'm doing, which is like a rebirth. Yeah. It's new life because a baby takes nine months. However, what I do, I don't look at the bigger picture because to, to say that to my audience is too scary. So just just when you're trying to do something, just break it down into small pieces. It's easier to, to look at it that way. And then you can um, set yourself small targets and build up on those small targets. So that's what I'm doing. I'm breaking them down into 10 weeks, 10 weeks, 10 weeks. And then I will hit my goal. So that's why I said, five weeks and we're like yeah we're finished <laughs> and then we're just at the last bit of the hurdles because that's the four months that's the real goal so by december that's why i will say to people don't wait till the new year to start something the best time to plant the tree is now and just nurture it so when it gets to december you'll see my gym will be packed <laughs> and then those people are coming in there's nothing wrong with it but i'm saying why procrastinate if you can start something now why don't you just start but just start so go at your pace you know what i'm saying you don't have to as I, my legs are maga <laughs> and i use that word on purpose i am skinny with my legs yeah it's just my genetics even i speak to some of the trainers them i'm like yo man i'm struggling with my leg and i'm my legs are strong because i'm push i can push a lot of weights but they're just stabbing. It's one of the hardest muscles to grow. But yet my top is okay. I'm all right with my top. But the legs. But I've set myself a challenge. I said for the next five months, I'm going to just keep working on it. And all they said to me, all you can do is probably grow the calf. Because they're too slim already. That's how. That's just my how my genes are. Some people have got big top, big arms, big chest. Just how your body is, in it? That's how my body is. So I have to accept it. <laughs> um... Because me, I'm going to wear shorts, man. What do you like? <laughs> but I've got chicken legs. <laughs> and that's why I say it's good to laugh at yourself, man. <laughs> you can't always take life too serious. You know what I mean? So that's something that I'm, I'm addressing. That's why you'll see me now. I started doing more squats um, to address the issue. But all I can do is just strengthen it and work on the calves and that's it the rest of it i just have to deal with it so i accept it i accept it so yeah um yeah it's just it's just reflecting i'm just doing a reflection and looking at the strong the good points and what i can work on yeah and how to improve that's what it's about setting new goals it's about identifying your strengths and weaknesses and that's what I'm doing. I'm, I've, because I'm halfway through, you're able to say, okay, I'm losing weight on the sides. I've lost weight on my belly. I've even lost weight on my legs. Uh -huh. Those are the positive side. That's, that's what the self-esteem's about. Yeah, I'm communicating that to my audience. I'm communicating it to myself as well. Yeah, so I'm self-aware. And then saying to myself, okay, what are the points we can work on? I don't like squats. But I do. I have to do them, and I don't go heavy because I've got a bad back, and also with my age as well. I'm, I'm not in competition with anybody. I do it because it's a lifestyle. It's about self development. It's about temple of know thyself. I and I reason. As I said, one of the hardest things to do is to know yourself. It's very difficult and very challenging, and that's why I come every week and I'm committed. The same way I'm committed to the gym, I do to the best of my abilities. I commit to self-development, self-awareness, self-esteem, self-confidence, you know. These are the things that I'm constantly working on and developing. And you notice my, my I'm improving slowly. The, the reading is getting a little bit better. Um, I, I was speaking to my friend the other day, yesterday, last night. And um, I was saying to her... Um, she said she's dyslexic as well but she reads a lot 
And I said, there's nothing wrong with being dyslexic. You know what I'm saying to you? Many, many famous, there are many famous, Richard Branson and Whippy Goldberg. There's many people out there who are dyslexic. We use a different side of the brain um, compared to other people. And that's what makes you unique. It's just that maybe on the pressure when you're reading, some people, they see the word all mixed up some people say the words backwards that's what it is we haven't practiced it's like a but they say use it or lose it in it so if you don't oil the brain if you don't read or study enough it becomes difficult and more challenging but we get on with our normal life and a lot of um, people who are dyslexic they have this entrepreneurness about them I, i've noticed that my daughter had was a little bit dyslexic and she's actually reversed it, which is, I was like surprised. In the beginning, I've actually seen her growth. Um, and I said, my uncle doesn't like the word dyslexic. It's just that we learn different at different pace, you know? She was behind my son. My son, the, the young, I've got twins. The young one, he left, he gone. That's why they said the race is never for the swift, in it. <laughs> he was whew, gone. Now he's gone slow, and she's caught him up. She's caught him up, and she's reversed it because the same thing I said to her. I said, "Do you do, you do your fifty minutes reading?" It's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, Dad. Do you want me to read to you?" You know what I mean? So it's about that self confidence and that self-awareness and your self-esteem and put, that's why you reward yourself so that's why I use the gym to motivate me on my weaknesses because that poem says the man who think he can and the man who thinks he can't are both right so we work on those things we use other things to help us to better ourselves and that's why I do the show because it challenges me it challenges me to think it challenges me to read and it puts me in a situation where I'm going to have to, like, I can't back out. Because <laughs> I said I've got five more weeks. And it shows the commitment, which is growth and self-esteem again. Yeah, self-confidence. That's that's how I become better, by putting myself in these predicament. Yeah, that's how you grow. That's how you develop. You know what I'm saying to you? So, yeah, yeah that's it, my people. Um, not, not nothing fancy today. As the show goes, I'm not gonna waffle on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just, as you're developing, you will just see it, and that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm seeing the growth. You know what I mean? So I can't waffle about it. I've been committed. I'm excited. I'm, I'm appreciating the journey. And what's happening? That the, the, the positive things that happens around. You know what I mean? You get, I get compliments. Yeah. I wasn't aware of it as I said people see me and they're like right you lost weight you look different you know what I'm saying to you so all that hard work that you put in you do get rewarded but it comes at different times it come, comes at different times that's why I'm being so pacific and I'm like if I can just get down to that um, that 17% 70, body fat I think I'll be very happy with myself and then that will be it for me yeah, I just want I just want to see how long it will take me to achieve. See, I'm thinking before I speak now. How long it will take me to achieve it? I think five months is realistic. Yeah, I know it becomes difficult and hard when you lose um, most of. The, I've lost so much body fat that the last bit now it is the challenging bit. I I totally understand that now. Because to some people, I'm like, I'm, I'm okay. People look at me, no, no, you look all right. And I'm like, nah, it, it's, it's like, there's a little bit more. Just that five, five, six, seven percent more um, body fat I would like to get rid of. And then I'll be okay. Yeah. So that these are just personal goals. That's, that's what doing this program has allowed me to challenge myself to come out of the uncomfortable comfortable zone to read and and stutter and learn i said i've got five more weeks to think 
think up another word because if you if you're following me still you know i have to I have to come up with two words remember <laughs> i haven't forgotten introspection and i must remember the word here yeah, as well <laughs> introspection was one of the words i learned it was a new word to me and then i, f I found one the other day uh, so I had someone said it, and then um, I can't remember it. So yeah, I, I wanna I wanna find a nice word, because again, these are my personal goal. Remember, from exercising, it has challenged me to with my reading. It has challenged me now with my weight. It's challenging me with finding new words for my vocabulary. It's challenging me to improve my self esteem my self-confidence and my self-awareness yeah so that's what it's about it's temple of know thyself i and i reasoning because we're constantly about self-development self-awareness yeah so yeah that's it man nothing nothing too heavy today as i said it's just keeping it simple man so i just want you to go about doing what you need to do that's what i said the show is always about self-development Find find your goals and your why and your aspiration and keep working on yourself. Yeah, and big up to some of my friends and man. They um, they listen to the show. Uh, Tony as well. He he's just finishing his um, electrician course. He's just, he's gonna be qualified in a couple of weeks time. You know what I mean? Uh, Duns man, Smokey Joe. You know trouble. Digo. You know what I'm saying to you like just be you know, Clint. My men's group. I, I've got a men's group. Um, Leroy so in our men's group it's, it's nice to have a men's group we talk about everything from relationships sex pension mental health you know what I mean um, and I'm, I said to, I always remind our friends you know what we're lucky to have this men's group that we can actually come and sit down and when I tell people they're like you know well done to you guys well done to you guys and we, we have like we've been busy now because of the school holidays but um it's normally run once a week we have a live call in but it's just between us and we talk about everything and it's nice to have young black men just reasoning man everything from cheating <laughs> to sex to you name it to jealousy to insecurity and you're not judged and that's what i like about it and it's like a, a free space to be and i think we need more of that you know what i'm saying to you because women have that but not a lot of men have that and that's why we have mental health issues you know so, um, a lot of men you know what i mean because we don't have an outlet or somewhere to go so yeah big up to my men's group and that is, has inspired me to to do what i'm doing now i've said that before it's taken me on this journey and that's why I do my best to support my son, even though we clash sometime. He texts me back. He's like, ah, oh, dad, no. <laughs> because because um, he wanted some money and I'm like, no. Um, I sent him his money, but I'm just teaching him how to budget. Because I said to him, I'm, you, gotta, you have to know what to do. Yeah. Yes, he goes, he goes, he goes um, I just need the money, uh, the last bit to buy the last few things. Uh, yes, I should be planning better and I understand. But right now I need to get these things so I can be packed before I leave. Plan properly. Proper planning prevents poor performance. I'm just, I'm just teaching you to plan because what happens when we're not around? That's like our men's group. We're here to support each other. We're using my experience. I am because we are. And because we are, therefore I am. We're using our life experience to guide our young children. So I'm saying to him, you're wasting all this money buying things. All I did is went in my mum's shed and I found brand new things. That will save you a good £30, £40. Be wise. And he, as I said, he's his friend. You just jump on the train, come down, search my mum's cupboards and stuff because she's going to give it to you you're her grandchild so he's learning which is good but yeah <laughs> at his pace and who am i to judge my job is just to share because it's temple of know thyself i and i reasoning so yeah my people then um, that's it we just come every sunday we share because 
it's a place of self-development, self-awareness, self-communication, self-esteem. We're just here to each one teach one, share our experience and we want to learn. And I'm just here to inspire you to make informed choices about your life. As I go about on my journey that I have, you know I me, mean? and I have many mentors that help me in the same way. So my people, the show is done. I'll see you next Sunday. Let's see um, what happens to your boy. And then I'll give you an update on my son because he should prepare to be leaving by then. But as I always say, I love you, my people. May your head be anointed. You have a blessed and wonderful Sunday. Whatever you're doing, do it to the best of your ability. And um, smile and be happy, man. Enjoy life. I'm starting to enjoy life more and more. You know what I'm saying? There's only one life we have. And it's called a present. My people, take care. God bless. I will see you next Sunday. Enjoy yourself. Be positive.